The Ukrainian armed forces are advancing on three axes in a counteroffensive that has recaptured territory in the east and south of the country from Russian forces. In order to break through the lines of defense, Ukrainian artillery was essential to suppress Russian direct and indirect fire, thus allowing Ukrainian troops to attack Russian trenches. Despite massive shipments of Western weapons and the creation of 12 new assault brigades, Kyiv was faced with heavily fortified Russian positions. Progress was slow as Ukrainian troops were forced to dismount and fight their way through the vast minefields laid by Russian troops. Ukrainian troops have proven highly adept at covering up their strategic objectives with deception, disinformation, and by shuffling troops from one area to another, keeping Russian military planners guessing about their next move. Ukrainian troops also had to break through extensive and well-prepared Russian defense lines and minefields while being fired upon by carefully placed Russian artillery batteries. Ukraine has always been more tactically agile, controlling the nature of the battles its forces engage in and while Russia largely reacts to situations not of their choosing. Today, the battle continues towards Bakhmut, with Ukrainian troops managing to wrest several meters of territory from the Russians. The town of Bakhmut in Donetsk has been the center of fierce clashes during nearly a year of the ongoing war, described as a meat grinder that claimed many lives on both sides. Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade shared footage showing troops from a Decepticon's platoon, part of the 2nd Assault Battalion, pushing Russian troops out of a forest area near Bakhmut. Troops can be seen firing machine guns and holding jungle positions. From that attack, Ukrainian troops managed to eliminate 10 Russian soldiers and injured 6 others. The Ukrainian armed forces also shared footage of a Russian tank exploding in a huge fireball during the Ukrainian forces' attack on Bakhmut. Drone footage shows how the ammunition fell into the tank where it caught fire and shattered into pieces. Ukraine's defense ministry shared footage showing Ukrainian drone operators having attacked Russian T-90 tanks and preventing Moscow forces from retaking the vehicles. In footage also taken in the Bakhmut region, the drone clip shows the tank at an unspecified location before the unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, attacks it. The second drone then hit the area next to the damaged tank. Other footage shared by the Ukrainian armed forces also shows Ukrainian artillery stopping a Russian tank in its tracks and forcing the Russian troops inside to flee. The video shows a Russian tank that was operating and carrying dozens of soldiers, suddenly shattered into pieces. In the south, Ukrainian troops also managed to blow up Russian tanks with missiles and mines. This footage, released by the Ukrainian Territorial Defense Forces and the separate airborne assault brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, shows several targets on fire. South of Bakhmut, troops from the 3rd Assault Brigade led the charge. Ukrainian soldiers dodged Russian artillery as they attacked the trenches. They used Western armored vehicles to approach the Russians. Then they opened fire with machine guns to drive away Putin's men. The Russian artillery fired back, landing shells inches from one man. He was injured but managed to get him back into the vehicle. Ukraine is making small but steady progress around Bakhmut. The fighting is now taking place near Klishchivka, to the south. Ukraine claims to have captured the main plateau in the area. On Tuesday, the Ukrainian armed forces managed to repel an attempt by Russian troops to break through in the Bakhmut district. Commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sersky, published a related video as Ukrainian troops professionally defeat the enemy and take positions. The Ukrainian armed forces also shared footage showing soldiers seizing the Russian trenches near Bakhmut. Ukrainian troops were seen exchanging fire with the Russian soldiers and throwing grenades to kill them. The video then shows smoke rising from the trenches as Ukrainian soldiers throw grenades and rifle fire at the targets. To date, the Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated 239.010 Russian soldiers and 710 others in the last 24 hours alone.
In Zaporizhia, the Kyiv army encountered stiff Russian resistance as it attempted to advance further south towards the Sea of Azov. Reaching the coastline could potentially cut the Russian army in half as well as disrupt overland supply lines to Crimea, which was recaptured as a major wartime objective of Kyiv. Russia has trapped mines and installed so-called anti-handling devices that cause them to explode if released. More advanced explosives include so-called jump mines, which when stepped on, pop up and shoot shrapnel, hitting other soldiers nearby. In areas where Ukraine has been successful in clearing minefields, Russia has fired rockets, which spray small, green, anti-personnel mines and create even more lethal obstacles to Zelensky's forces. The Russians not only booby-trapped their own mines, but they also mined their own trenches and the bodies of those who died as they were forced back. Despite the obvious difficulties faced by Ukrainian army, Ukrainian forces insist that a counteroffensive is making solid progress and that reaching the Sea of Azov is still a realistic goal. However, according to Ukrainian soldiers fighting in the south of the country, Russian troops detonated their own mines and caused heavy casualties. At the same time, the Russian army had fought with a tenacity and determination that many thought was surpassing it, leading to a much slower advance by the advancing Kyiv troops. Russia's staunch resistance was acknowledged by President Zelensky in one of his recent speeches in Ukraine. The Ukrainian leader told his audience that Putin's soldiers were doing everything they could to stop our soldiers. But the landmines proved the biggest obstacle to the Ukrainian counterattack, which experts say has recaptured some 200 and 53 square kilometers so far.